Hi, this is Aidan from Southwest Systems. We are basically going to show you our smart EPOS Teal Cloud systems. Um, we're going to go through the Cloud Backover software quickly, um, hopefully in around about 15 minutes or less. Um, so basically, I'm just going to run through the interface. Um, most customers have the standard modules, which is branches, users, reports, programming, configuration. We also do an optional stock uh, add-on, which can do lots of things like orders, wastage, transfer, supplier, stock take, stock period, ingredients, and units. Um, but most people have the standard uh, sort of items sold, items sold stock, um, rather than the stock module. But we can do everything as comprehensive as any other system on the market. Um, other add-ons we do is time and attendance, and we can do caching up, and there's a few other things. But for a standard bar, most people have the sort of essential setup, which is I'll run through now with you. So software systems can offer the following. Uh, branches, if you've got more than one branch, you can link so many tills to that branch. So in this case, it's two branches, but if you just have the one branch, that's absolutely fine. Users is the number of cloud back office software users. So you can have as many front end users as you want. So as many staff managers and the cloud. So this is the cloud logins. We can set up multiple users for you. So there's no limit. It's all secure uh, or GDPR compliant. Um, so not an issue there. Now, the next stage I'm going to just run through is reports. So in here, you've got an array of reports and this is constantly expanding. So You've got sales, which is real time. So you've got your item sales per branch. This is going to give you what you've sold. Um, so in here, I've got Guinness. I've sold 83, 365 pounds 20. Every single report is date rangeable. So you can go back to like any date range, February, March, April, May, last year, last month, and run the report. Uh, there's also quick, quick keys here. Some reports even have selective stuff. So if you just want to look at the draft and bottled, you can do that and then run the report and it will narrow it down. Now all the reports have access to uh, the, the ability to basically export it to PDF, Excel and CSV. So if I want to put that in PDF, it will save it to your system and as long as you've got uh, your computer, as long as you've got Adobe Acrobat Reader, or, uh, that will open up easily, quickly and there you go, it's all there ready to be emailed. Um, we can also do reports um, to different areas as well. So if you want to do, I don't know, a, diff a different sort of export, you can do it to Excel. Uh, so XLS is Excel. So as long as you've got a licensed copy of Excel, then it will load up no problem and you'll have that data there for financial reporting or you know, pr by product, however you want to do it. So in this case, I'm just loading up my Excel and it will just load the data in the correct format. And you can do the same for other outputs as well. So uh, if, for instance, you want to do um, CSV, you can, again, download it to CSV. So this is the um, this is the Excel one here. Uh, it's not quite in my picture where I'm uh, filming, but you can see the ends of the report here. But that's fully, fully um, easily, you know, editable. And the same for CSV. Um, in terms of financial report, you've got it by branch and by till, so you can group tills in an area. So um, if I'm going to look at the data for today, this is a cash by branch report, total sales and including, excluding VAT. You've got voids, cash, uh, listed departments, listed groups, so your drinks, food, cashiers, and a few other features as well. All date rangeable, all exportable to PDF, Excel, CSV. And then you can just basically run other reports. So if you want to see what you've done by till, so if you've got more than one till you purchase through software systems, you want till one, till two, till three. Again, it will say ECR one, till one, and then group them. If you need data such as, you know, what you've sold by staff, so item sales by staff, so who's pulling their weight, who's doing what, you'll have this here. So Toby has sold a Carswell Exports 820, uh, Smanoff Red, uh, Desirano, etc. Uh, you've got hourly sales, so if you want to just do hourly sales, you can just uh, run the report again and that will show the data clearly. Uh, so, three till four, we've got this data, four, uh, four till five, we've got this data here. Uh, just build a profile of how the business is doing. Journal, so again, you can view this on the front end, but you also have access to this on the cloud. So, again, for store owners, management, if you want to see 
uh, sort of what's going on. So in this case, there was a pint of uh, St. Oster proper. It was voided. It was by accident. It was by Toby. For instance, why was it voided? You can look into that in more detail. Again, you've got a date range here, so you can go back any date range and view view the data if there is data there. Sales log, this is this button here, this green one, sales log. This, this gives you access to a bit more information. So um, providing this data there again, you can see a lot more detail as to what was being voided, what was cancelled, uh, any discounts done, any no sales. Very secure way of looking at it. You can compare this to CCTV and you can effectively choose a particular uh, cashier, a particular member of staff to monitor. So if you think you've got an issue with a member of staff, that's the report you want to run. Dashboard, now this is a nice feature. Uh, this is a module, but um, basically you've got access to graphical part of the cloud. This is more for tablet, more for on your smartphone, quickly viewing what, what's going on. But again, you can use it on the PC. So again, we've got last item sold. This is all real time, the sales here. We've also got who's performing. So Toby and Liz have been selling. Toby's done four hundred and twenty-eight pounds seventy-five. Any cash sales so far on the till, and then we've got any sort of uh, departments here. You know what's selling in real time. Hourly sales again, real time. Department sales Z. So that's after a Z. Top POU. So what's popular by volume. So again, the Guinness was the most popular in real time. You can also expand this. You can you can basically view it in a format which is cleaner, and you can also edit every single graphical report if need be. So that's so that's really that's really easy to do, and um, we find that a lot of a lot of customers like that, like that feature. So it's all customizable. Um, I'm just going to go back now. Till communication report. So if there's an issue of a Z, it tell you when it was last Zed or when there was last a sale. So if there is an issue, it will tell you on the cloud. Balance report, um, this will tell you any discrepancies from the system. So again, we've got a 490 discrepancy, so why is that? You know, you can look into that with your manager. There's a lot more of the reports down here as well. So hourly by product, hourly POU by staff, so by clerk. So that will tell you who's selling what, who's the best performers. Um, Again, top 50 best sellers. Again, you can run this, choose any 40, 30 items. You can do it by amount, so what's basically expensive, or by volume, so what's popular. Again, the Guinness has come through there. So there's lots of reports. You've also got the sale Z report, so that's after you've done a Z, you're looking back historically. Um, we've got group sales, cash sales by branch. A lot of customers like this one, monthly cash sales. So this is a calendar month. Uh, accountants uh, sort of store owners like this one it's got uh, net sales cash credit card x uh, VAT. it's got everything all on one report so it's really clear any voids done and it's your 30 days or you know a calendar month on one report we could do the same as well for seven day cash by branch so again you can look at the last seven days and yeah you can you can view that Moving on now, um, you've, you've also got stuff in stock and stock take, so stock, stock values, order history, summary of goods received, stock reorder, stock take history. You've also got the stock taking procedure, such as stock sheets, putting stock quantities in the stock sheets when you're counting the stock, if you're going to be the stock taker and using the stock module. So that's all in there. Um, and then obviously we've got favourites, so you can allocate favourites. So when management come in, they've got just the, the exact reports they want to run. Programming, so programming, you got groups. Groups is your drinks, food, or wet and dry. You've then got your departments. So these are the buttons that are on the till where the items are populated in. So you've got bottles, gin, vodka, brandy, whiskey. That's linked to the drinks. You've then got POU. So this is where you can add a new item. So for instance, Gordon's gin I've added. I'm going to increase the price now to £3.40. Um, it's a 25 mil, but you could, again, you could make, you know, quick double button on the till you could just duplicate the product if you wanted um, in this case I've got it as a drink item which is linked to the drink printer so I'm actually printing a drinks dispense you don't have to have that but it's there that at 20% or 0% it's all vatable at 20 because it's a bar and the color now what I can do if I have another another uh, gin here so I can just go in here and just put the next one in I've just cloned the item this is for speed 
Okay, um, I'm just all you're doing is changing the price in it because you've cloned all the parameters, and that's how easy it is to add an item. And then you just press this prepare data for sending when you've made your changes. This will then send the file down ready to be accepted by the tills, which you can accept when you're ready. So you can actually prepare your menu and not have to send it to the tills and get it ready, which is that the system's really good at doing. Uh, the back office is very clean, very easy to use, and very popular. A lot of people like it. Staff member leaves, uh, just press Clarks here. So if we go to Toby, he's a manager. It's now replaced by myself, Aiden. So if I just do that, save again, I'll just go prepare data. That would overwrite Toby, whether it's a pin, if I, you know, pin or a key, magnetic key. That's how it's done. We can also do set menus, so mains options, so how cooked, bread type, whatever, you know, uh, whatever you need in that there. If you do do food. We have mix and match, so this is like, for instance, free shots for price of £10 or two for a particular price with a cocktail, not a problem. We've also got order character here, which is like stars, mains, desserts, but most bars tend to not have that. Um, there's also a quick prices area here, so you can edit prices quickly. You just change the price here, change the price, change the price, change the price. You can do vodka, same again, rum. Again, you save it, prepare data for sending, all done. Now, configuration, there's a few stuff in here. A lot of it's for programming, but you've got your VAT rates, which we've set up for you. So that's all set up, no problem, 20% zero. You've got void reasons, so you know you can add in more uh, reasons why staff are voiding. And the other thing that bars tend to use is a scheduler. So we can add a happy hour in here on the cloud back office software. You can, you can enable it or uh, disable it whenever you want. It's going to be a price shift from price one to price two and it's going to happen i don't know it's going to happen at 1800 hours and it's going to end at 20 and 20 there and then you can save it and then you can basically choose a particular day cut to you know set it for monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday or it's just saturdays whenever and it will come on and off next thing to do is the stock so we've got orders we've got wastage transfer suppliers with ordering you need to select basically you need to link an item to a uh, product so again i'm going to bring the cordelic i'm just going to convert this as a stock item you can do any particular you can do barrels 11 gallon 22 gallon 1.5 uh, 1 liter uh, 70 co it's all there we can customize it completely so it's fully accurate um, in this case i'm just going to do it as a single uh, one pound 80. you can give a supplier reference but i'm not going to bother this time so once you've basically converted the item, you can then do an order. So you go stock, orders, add new order, and you can do different ones, sales suggested, minimum, maximum, blank. Uh, so depending on the branch I've got here, I can't remember which branch I'm using, but we can, we can set it basically to do that. Uh, so it's very, very easy to do, very easy to set up, um, again, with suppliers. We can uh, set it up in here. So I'll just set Southwest Systems up as a supplier. Lead time is two days or one day. Um, and then you can basically add an order. Um, so this will let me do it now. I've added this. So we've gonna just look in here. So let's just see if the item will appear. There it is, there's the recorder lick. Okay, I'm just gonna add 20 and update. Again, you can change the cost price. You can save a template, so you can order suppliers with a regular template. I'm going to OK that. The goods come in, so the record lit comes in. This is my purchase order, which I can email or just save or ring it through uh, with the record lick. But I'm just going to receive order. I can say that if I've not come in as one on back order here, notes, copy accordance quantity received, complete order document. And then as soon as I do that, it goes into stock. So if I run the stock report now, I go reports stock stock values it's in here no problem okay and that's it that's how easy so that'll count down in real time 20 19 18 as i sell the recorder lick it's that easy to use and then you've got basically employees time and attendance you can create different jobs and track pay rates etc and then you've got the cashing up so this is some people most people don't have this they just do cash de declaration on each till cash card but again you can do add in the bank what you what you basically banked and there's a facility of petty cash, but that's a module. 
Okay, thanks for listening to Southwest Systems. I hope this helps. I hope this helps, and I hope you buy our systems. Thanks a lot.